Hey guys, it's Maxi here, and today I'm going to show you how you can get a PS5 trophy notification for your stream. Just follow these steps and make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for more content in the future. Let's get started. So first of all, we are going to need some plugins which are Move Transition, Gradient Source, and the Shader Filter plugin. We are also going to need the Game Station Condensed Font, which is a font I use to make the PS5 alerts look similar to the real thing. You will also need the assets I created so you can show the various image sources when an alert goes off. I will post the links for these in the description. Just bear in mind that I will be doing this for OBS Studio version 28 on a Windows environment. I recommend you use the Windows installer when downloading these plugins and make sure you have OBS Studio closed, otherwise the plugins will not appear. Once you have installed these plugins, including the font, you will need to save the assets into a location of your choice. I have the PS5 alerts folder saved under the C MBT assets location. Now it is time to open Streamerbot. Click on the import button and then drag the MBT PS5 alerts.mbt file into the import string area. You will see a list of all the alerts here such as cheer, follow and the PS5 alert queue. Click on import to finish. Now you should see the alert package appear on your Streamerbot. Next, we will need to set the location where the assets are so they are loaded correctly. Go to the MBT PS5 alert setup action and then double click on the sub action under the section where it says input required. Change the value of the trophy assets argument. For this, you will need to go to the location of where you saved the PS5 alerts folder. Copy the folder location and then paste it into the value box. Click on OK to save. You will also see the very first action which begins with the exclamation mark MBT. You will need to create a command for this, so go to the command section, create a command such as exclamation mark maxi setup, and then select the install action and click on OK when you are done. Now open OBS Studio and make sure you have the streamer bot connected to OBS via WebSockets 5 and that your Twitch account is connected. Go to your Twitch chat and type the commands you created such as exclamation mark maxi setup, press enter and you should see the PS5 alert scene created for you on OBS. We are not done though and there are a few things you will have to adjust by yourself. In the scene that's just been created, group the sources together by selecting the background source, hold the shift key and then select the description source. Make sure you don't select the sound source. Once the sources are highlighted, right click and then click group selected sources. Now this is important, rename the group exactly as mbt space dash space ps5 space alerts space dash space group. If you named it something different then you will need to go into the animation action on streaming bot and under the groups begin animation and hide animation you will need to change the value of the show and hide sources to the correct group. Now at the moment our ps5 alert is looking a bit unrounded. So to correct this, we will need to right click on the group and then select filters. Add a user defined shader, tick the box load shader text, click on browse and then select the rounded underscore rect dot shader file. Set the corner radius to a value such as 15 and then you should see the corners become rounded. Now you can click on the close button to close the filters window. Next, right click on the PS5 alerts scene and then select filters. You will see two filters called start and stop. Go to the start and then click on get transform under the transform section. Then click on your group and then move it slightly to the right off screen and then go to the stop filter and then click on get transform again. If you did this correctly, you should see the PS5 alert group move in and out when you press on start and stop. Next up, it's best to select the show and hide transition for the group. So right click on the group and then change the show and hide transition to fade. I edited it to 200 milliseconds, which I thought worked really well and actually made the alert look like it was a PS5 notification. Now we are done with OBS and you can hide the group. Go into Streamerbot next and then link all the actions to the events such as follow, sub, cheer and rate. Once you are done, 
click on the test button and you should see the result pop up for you on OBS Studio. Now we do have the donations action for either Streamlabs or Stream Elements, and you will need to have Streamabot linked to these sites. I will show you how you can link these. For Streamlabs, make sure you link the action to the Streamlabs donation, and then under settings, you will see that we will need to get a socket API token to allow Streamabot to grab the donation information. So open a web browser and go to streamlabs.com and log in via Twitch. On the dashboard, go to the bottom left section of the page and click on account and then settings. Under the API settings and then API tokens, you should see two options here. We need the socket API token. Click on the copy button. Make sure you don't show this token to anyone else. Paste the token into Streamabot and then click on connect to Streamlabs and you are connected. I recommend you tick the auto connect and reconnect buttons as well, just in case you have a disconnection in the future. For stream elements, it is much more simple. Make sure the action is linked to the stream elements donation action. Go to settings and click on connect to stream elements. Log in via Twitch and then click on authorize to allow Streamabot to access stream elements. You should have logged in successfully and stream elements should say it is connected. Now we are done and your alerts are ready to set up. There are more things we will need to set up, but I will make a part two of this video, which I will talk about on how to customize your alerts. So make sure you are subscribed and don't forget to ring that notification bell if you want to be notified when my next video pops up. And as always, stay awesome and stay breathtaking.